Hello, my lovely Cancer. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Cancerian, today we'll do your reading for the month of July. This is a monthly reading for all of you, Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Also, this is a general reading, might resonate with you, loves, might not take it accordingly and as is resonating with your situation. And as well, Cancerian will use today two oracle decks, briefly messages and of course messages from the spirit and from the tarot. And at the end of this reading, my loves, if you are dealing with any zodiac signs from Aries to the Pisces, will gather messages for you, loves. And yeah, stick with me. And of course, my loves, I have a few announcements for all of you. I am giving away this month a wand. I've been promising when we got to a thousand, a thousand hundred here, a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm just feeling like blah here today. But Cancerian, I have six wands and six subscribers of this channel will get a wand each. Whatever in the world you are, if you want to participate in this giveaway, what you need to do is just to be a subscriber and also like, share and comment below in the comments how do you like and or what you don't like in regards to this channel. Any feedback, either it's good, positive or not as positive is greatly appreciated. So for what you need to do to enter this giveaway is just to comment below, be a subscriber, like, share. All right, loves. And on the, almost at the end of this month, on the 22nd, because we will be at that time two years in this channel, six lucky subscribers will be announced. So might be one of you Cancerians, might be more Cancerians. Let's see here, my loves. I have the Wisdom of the Oracle cards for you. Briefly messages from the Oracles. Let's see here. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science for the month of July 2020. We have Peace. Beautiful. Number 23, there is some positive changes coming for you, my loves. And I feel here, whatever is coming here, it is coming peace. And I feel here, for some of you, you've been quite a lot in that energy, like anguishing, like suspense energy. But now I feel here, as you know, for all of Cancerians who celebrate the birthdays, happy birthday just to be here, but I feel here, this month is a peaceful month, especially for you. I didn't got this for any zodiac signs, so this is just you. And I feel here, if you really want to have that peaceful energy around you, go for it. Go the distance. Number 47. For some of you, it's like, if you have that good energy inside you, you will expand it more. There is a very much like that expansion notion. For some of you, there is messages coming for you. For some of you, you pay attention to, to the signs coming for you. They are answer your questions. Let's see here. The Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, what speaks to you? We have the number 18, the shadow. The shadow loves. Whatever you do is reflecting on you and vice versa. Okay? It's like whatever you think is manifesting in real life. So it's a thing what you say, it's what you become. It's your shadow here. And underneath here, this deck, we have deceptions and envy. All right, number seven. Somebody here, it's wearing a false mask around you. So, Spirit says, 
somebody here in in the front of you might tell you you are awesome great and seems a very good friend i feel here for some of you you might deal with somebody fake here and i feel here whoever is jealous on you on your success you kind of know it okay you sense it you sense their energy around you and of course you are very much in tune with those energies here cancerians let's see here my loves what we got for you was the tarot this is the illuminati tarot here very beautiful artwork for some of you cancerians you've been at peace and somebody might disturb that peace and spirit says don't trust everything what that person is telling you pay attention and do not do not ignore your intuition my loves okay do not ignore your intuition all right loves overall energy for this month we have nine of swords there is something here is still deep deep inside your mind and that's why comes the peace for some of you worrying too much that's not helping you at all justice you feel like this is not this is not fair for some of you it's like i will go till the end till it will be fair for some of you you are dealing with some legal documents legal contracts here libra energy here but i feel here there is something here around being stable and that could be is like found time to to not worry too much and it's just like whatever you cannot control let it go it's not worth it to keep in your head even it's hard to do so let's see here ace of wands Three of Cups, Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. Somebody here is mourning the loss of you, loves, or vice versa. Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody who you, you consider them as a friend or a family energy here emperor aries energy i feel here you you choose to move away you might offer them just the friendship here but i feel here you are moving forward here leo energy here but cancerian i feel here whatever this person offers you i don't feel you are looking too much i see here you are around people friends it's like you have good people around you, but this person feels very lonely, whoever you are connecting. Also, yes, there might be a father figure here also involved, but I feel here you are not anymore next to that person. That could be also a third party involved in here. And the third party might be actually the family people or people in the family. It still kind of bothers you, I feel here. But Spirit says, if you really want to make peace or to have peace, it's like go, move forward. Also, I see here people around you. There's good people around you, but there is somebody here doesn't really want the good to you. Although there is something here around money, finances here. It's like this person, it's very hard for them to move, to move on. I don't feel you, Cancerian, it's hard for you. But I feel here for them, it's very hard. Although this person is a troubled person or have been a troubled person. Okay? It's like this person put you in a third party. I don't feel you are interested anymore in that third party. Whatever who is this person. Because I see you are just like, you know what? I'm moving forward. If 
you've been married, considering with this person, I feel here something here was not quite fair. And I feel here you will go to the distance here just to have that fair energy. And that is in a short time here. There is something here like this is Mayan and that will be Mayan. Whatever this person tries, oof. Let's see here why this Three of Swords is right here. Hierophant, Taurus energy again. But I feel here there is been a broken contract here due to somebody else interfering in this connection. Four of Cups. It's like a, a marriage or a, a strong connection you've been with. It's, it's a loss. It's like a lot of loss. And I feel here somebody try to work things out, try to repair or mend things, but didn't really work it out because as much as try to was, was not trust. Somebody really realizing that they lost you. But it's still kind of haunting you this energy here, you know, like a shadow. Five of Swords, yeah, that was a move. Six of Swords, Five of Wands, yes. Somebody here was like, was if it was a marriage, if it was a real connection, like a stable connection, that could not go with too many people involved here. And I feel here there was family involved here. Something here is like the tradition of a family or the way a family sees the partner or something like that. It's like the, <clears throat> the other people, family, was involved and kind of break this down here. The person you are connected, yeah, it's King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You definitely have been strongly connected with this person in a marriage or committed. This is your life partner. And that was broken. It is a contract broken here. There was a separation here. They are still mourning the loss of this. I feel here strongly you are dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is still very much back and forth, back and forth. And this is the deception and envy here for you. Because this person is not happy and they don't want you to be happy. It's like whatever they state here is not for you to like it here. We have right here, we have three of cups, three of one, three of pentacles and three of swords. You might still around this person, but I feel here that, that is like, there was like the, the goals. Each of you had different views of how a real relationship can be or even could be very big differences the way you see things. But somebody here brought the whole family, the father, the mother, the sister, the brother and everybody. Yeah, definitely it is an earth sign here. Devil, this person is not over. This person is still in that, like, I gotta still want this connection and I don't want to go. It's a karmic energy here still. They are very conflicted. I feel here you're not interested anymore. It's as much they as try. It's like, you can try as many times and keep moving forward. It's like, you don't have any more power here. And I gotta go. I'm not dealing here with people who are putting me in third parties here. Yeah. I feel here at first. Here. You, you try like, you know what? 
was heavy and things like that but you can overcome that because you really love this person here you are in Saran you're moving forward like even I do love this person this person is toxic whatever they bring to me or in my life or in our life they are toxic and there's no more here to stay you here yeah I feel here this, there was something here about money because your worries was about money about finances here somebody here didn't want to give you anything that's why somebody seek justice here six like whatever the law is giving here because somebody didn't want to give things didn't want to work things out here and I feel here is this person Whoever you've been committed here. It's like my concerns. I feel here initially you didn't want to go. You try to be friends with them or friendly. But you really love this person. Two of cups. Even I love you. I got to move forward. And I see you. It's like I'm better. Because I really need. I really need the peace. For some of you you definitely moved on from this person and definitely was about time but it's kind of haunting you this person yes my loves absolutely yeah that was a big loss here for this person they for them it's kind of that the thing is like they lost you but they do know there's no coming back here. There's no coming back. Because you're not willing to offer them anything here. For some of you, it is you who is hard for you to move forward. But I get more the energy of this person. They, they cannot yet move on from you. Even they feel that, yeah, I lost them. We have three fives here. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Five of Swords. And actually, no, we have all the fives. There is changes, big, big changes gonna happen here. If they were hard to move on from this connection, they will move on. We do have all the fives here. Yeah. It's kind of cut, cut it off, move forward. But they will still here. Yeah. They will still here. So Cancerian, I feel here. Yes, at one point was hard for you. And it's still haunting you. But this person, it's something else. It's like from how much love you've been it now is the opposite it's 180 degrees so you basically don't really give them any energy right now and this person doesn't like it although made you a little like to think what is going on but i feel here there was a thing here about finances not as much as love but the finances and work and as well family energy here but I don't feel you are keeping there. It's like I, I walked away. I don't need here. Let them fight for what they want. And I feel here this person was very much into this earthly needs. This Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They were all about the earthly needs. Like pentacles, money, possession. Whatever you guys try to build together. But I feel here you, you didn't want anything. It's like you were the cops only. It's like, I don't need. I just want to be even and a give and take and goodbye to this person. I don't see you going to them. I feel here they are not over you. That's the thing. But I feel here you at one point, considering it was, was hard to move forward. But you needed to take one step at a time and you did although you have good friends around you 
Yes, my loves. Yes, I'm not sure why my voice is acting up right now, but let's see here, loves. If you deal with any zodiac sign right here, and what's the energy of them around you? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising signs, and Venus sign here for you, Cancerian. Well, there is a big desire for this person. This person wants to lock, lock you up here. There is a big need for this person to be with you. But it seems here that this person will make everything and anything to be with you. There is a big attraction between you and this Aries. But there is as well something here like it's kind of be with your feet on the ground. Something here is a little too dreamy, too much. Like this person might promise you everything and you might find that it's not quite whatever this person is doing because it's like from an extreme to another. But this person is, is extremely interested to be with you, Cancerian. If you are dealing with a Taurus, Taurus and Cancer, Cancer and Taurus. All right, loves. This person seems to me that they are not here to settle down. And I feel here, whatever it is here, they, they're not telling you everything. So what I feel here, they are in and out, they come and go. You are attractive to them because they feel it's you are a very smart person around to be with. But I feel here this person has somebody else and that's the reason you are not all the time 24 hours 7 here. And I don't feel they are ready to sell down here. If you want them to sell down or you see them the one for you, they are not the one for you. They definitely have somebody else in the back burner. Or you might be that one who is in the back burner. Gemini and Cancerian. Cancerian and Gemini here. All right, loves. I will say be careful here because something here is about to be up. Some, some of you, you might wake up one day and this person might be gone. Okay. Yeah. And I feel here this person is choosing their career over the love for you, okay? I don't feel it's as much love or attraction between you two. This person is driven by other things. Cancerian and another Cancerian. Let's see here for you, loves. Here you are. All right, loves. I feel here there is a soulmate energy here. So this connection between you and another Cancer could go to the distance. Because I feel here there is a certain balance between you two. And I feel here it's a very good connection. Keep doing this way. There is a soulmate energy here. Might be somebody who might come back from your past. But I feel here there is... Definitely, if you just start some with somebody here, with another Cancerian, it is a good connection here. And definitely, it is a very good union, could be. Cancerian and Leo. Leo and Cancerian in here. All right, my loves. I feel here somebody left. And even they left, they will come back. There's still passion, there's still love here. They will come back again here. Even right now, you might not see each other, but I feel here is like, give it time so the things will come back here. There is a comeback out there. Let's see here. You, Cancerian, and Virgo. Virgo and Cancerian. Let's see. It seems to me that love is still there, but it's not balanced. There's not balance. Somebody here breadcrumb the other one. Or being a breadcrumb energy. It's like a break between you two. 
but somebody here regrets whatever happened between you two. Things can improve, but I feel here it's it's hard. It is hard for one of you to forgive the other one. It's like maybe time will pass, but there is love here between you two. And as well, there is a lot of regrets between you two. Cancerian and Libra. Let's see. Well, Cancerian and Libra here. There is a past life energy here, but somebody here refused to come back. It's like, I, I'm better off where I am. I don't need to come back. One of you really want to fight for this connection. Another one is just basically blocking it. So I feel here it's a very complicated energy between you and this Libra. Between you, Cancerian, and a Scorpio. Scorpio and the Cancerian here. Well, somebody here is contacting the other one. The other one is telling you or vice versa that, hey, it's time for you to move on. And that's about it. If you wait for communication and you're not getting communication cancer from this Scorpio and you contact that person, they will tell you a lot of things you've done to them and they are moving on. It's kind of like... I waited for you to call me or to contact me so I can tell you what's going on and then I'll shut down. So Spirit says, if you are about to contact this person, think otherwise or think twice here. Because I feel here, somebody here wants to pay you back for one way or another. So if was silence and you are very much eager to contact them, be careful. To not bump into a wall and hurt. Because that person is a little like... I, I see arrogancy or arrogant person. Cancerian and a Sagittarius here. Alright. Might be a work situation here. But I feel here this person likes to engage and talk with other people about you too. And I feel here this connection could work between you and Cancer, Cancer between you and, and the Sagittarius. But I feel here somebody here wears a false mask, okay? This person, this Sagittarius, yes, they might say things, but they are engaging in gossip. I see too much gossip here in between you two. So if it's a work situation and they talk with others, yes, they might be from your back and things like that. But also for them, it's very important the opinion of others, which I feel here that's not necessary in a connection. Cancerian and Capricorn. Well, this Capricorn is, is thinking very much of you. Might be a different, big difference of age or maturity here but they are thinking here there is a missed opportunity here between you two you might say no i don't want you and things like that but this person really wants to be with you and if you will refuse them again they will walk away somebody here doesn't really recognize that there could be something between you two it's so whatever you offer me is not what i'm looking for for some reason Let's see here, Cancerian and Aquarius. Aquarius and Cancerian. It's too much of a hold back here. And if somebody holds back here, it's because they are not fully there for you. You might have a lot of passion for this person, but I feel here this person is not honest to you, Cancerian. So if they hold him back, that's a big red flag. Yes, they like to flirt with you or vice versa. But I don't see them honest and I don't see them serious towards you. Cancerian and Pisces. What's going on here, my loves? Let's see here. To take a leap of faith. Not really. You both different direction going, my loves. And I feel here somebody here kind of like doesn't really give another chance. 
yeah somebody here doesn't see it that things can move forward if things have been very slow between you two and one of you didn't really pay attention to many things the other one is just like cut it off cut it off my loves absolutely although one of you will turn again to the other one so spirit says here we are so my lovely cancer thank you very much for coming in here and again if you want to participate in the giveaway well what you need to do is to be a subscriber like share and comment below give me feedback how we are doing in here and here we are randomly we'll pick one blessed of six subscribers all right loves Thank you for watching being here on the channel either you are new either you are always here blessings for all this month and again happy birthday for all all of you and many blessings and abundance to all of you to come thank you for watching see you next time with new energy have peace and love and light bye for now